Hello, this is Craig from Ultra Real. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a trick on how to take and convert a reflection probe into a cube map that you can then use as a sky dome. Why would you want to do this? Well, in a lot of cases, you may have a device that doesn't have a lot of power, say like a, uh, a Gear VR, uh, and you want to have a uh, environment that um, uh, is, is just an environment that's in the background. It's not necessarily uh, you know, you don't want to have a whole bunch of geometry to fill your entire scene, so you just render a sky dome, which will be very fast. I've got a scene that I've created here that I'm going to create a cube map for. To start with, I'm going to create a reflection probe. And how you do that is you go to the game object menu, select light, and reflection probe. And that'll pop one in the scene. Now, it will, uh, if you have automatic lighting on, it'll automatically fill in, as you can see this one did here. So I'm going to take and move this down, and it's going to update again. Uh, that's probably a good spot. And if you can see here, this is uh, what the reflection probe is going to, going to capture. In the inspector view, you can change the resolution of the cube map that will be rendered. So I'm going to set it to 1024. Uh, you, for a better looking image, you may want to use 2048, but that's up to your discretion. Okay, now go into the light panel under Window and Lighting, and let's turn this auto off. And now let's save the scene. I'm going to save this scene as, I've already got one saved already from a pre-test here. I'm just going to save a scene called Light Probe Test. And then I'm going to hit the, uh, I'm not going to hit the Build button, I'm going to click this little triangle and say big reflection probes. Depending on how complex your scene is, this may take a while. Okay, it appears to be done. Now, where you find the reflection probes in your, your project after the uh, light system rendered it is you look to where your scene file is. In my case, it's right out on the root of the assets folder. There will be another folder with the exact same name as your scene file. In case it's right here, the reflection probe test. Now, if you go in here, there's going to be a bunch of files that represent your light mapping, uh, but also there's going to be uh, a couple light probe cube maps. Now, if you bring up the inspector, you can actually see these different ones. And these are, there's two of them here that are very similar. It's possible I have two light probes in the scene, but uh, the key is the resolution is going to be different. We want the one that's 1024 by 1024. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and duplicate this image. We're going to duplicate this image by pressing Alt-D. And then I'm going to rename it. I'm going to rename it to My Cube Map. Okay. And then I'm going to move it somewhere else. I'll just move it out into the root of assets. You got to make sure you move it out of that directory because the light mapper will uh, delete all these files if you tell it to build again. All right, from here I'm going to create a new scene. And I'm going to create in the project, I'm going to create a new material. This is going to be our skybox cube. And then uh, under the shader, I'm going to change it to skybox. And this is going to be a cube map skybox. And uh, from here, all we do is we take our my cube map, put it in here. Okay, now with the cube map set, we have to go and assign it to the camera. So we're going to go into my camera. I'm going to add a component called Skybox. And then from there, I'm just going to drag the uh, Skybox cube material that I created up here. Now you'll notice it pops into view in the game immediately. And uh, if you take your uh, camera, and let's uh, separate this so we can see the two different scenes here. All right, there we go. Now if you rotate around, you'll see it's a cube map. Now you're going to notice some little weird edges here. This is a uh, convolution, they call it. It's on the, uh, the texture material. I don't know exactly what it does, to be honest but it's very easy to fix. All you have to do is go to the cube map that was created, 
change the convolution type to none and hit apply and it's gone. And there is how you bake an Envira cube from a Unity scene using a reflection probe. If you like this video and would like to see more, please like this video and subscribe. Also, check out Ultra Real Asset products on the Unity Asset Store.